So I'm gonna show you how to make the most delicious creamy mushrooms. Really gorgeous, sumptuous, silky. And this recipe is a principal recipe that you can take, you can use time and time again, and you can use it for so many things. We've got a nice array of mushrooms here. So we've got oysters, some lovely shiitakes, we've got lovely little chanterelles here, these are gorgeous, these are wild. And this is trompette de mort, the trumpet of death. But you won't die, don't worry. So we wash those if you wish. Let's talk about flavouring. Uh, I'm going to use thyme today. Of course you could swap that out for any other woody herb. I'm going to use dried chilli, just a little bit. And then of course, garlic. So, I said creamy mushrooms. What we have here is some creme fraiche. The idea is we don't need this, right? We can make creamy mushrooms without cream using butter and water, right? It's brilliant. So, pan on. We're going to go medium-high heat. So we'll whack that up now. I'm going to finely slice the garlic just into little slices. The chilli, I'll just take the end off the chilli just by slicing. Don't need much at all. I do not want you to recognise like any kind of hot, hot heat. Then we've got the thyme. Thyme is absolutely gorgeous and it's a nice savoury herb. Just a little teaspoon of fresh thyme like that will make all the difference. So I love that. So, First little thing I'm going to do, which is quite interesting and really not traditional, um, I learned this kind of technique in Japan and they would, over barbecue, over coals, they would take humble mushrooms like this and they would just kind of dry grill them. And then I kind of changed that at home in the UK to dry frying them in a non-stick pan, so no oil, right? So what this does, interestingly, is it starts to bring out nutty flavours. Like I say, you can go like whole mushrooms, no trouble. You can just break them in your hand like that. Let's just slice a few up. This one is a king oyster. These will all reduce in size as they cook. So give it a nice little shake. And if you toss it around, you'll start to see that it's catching and actually caramelizing in its own natural sugars, right? You can see that in the oyster mushrooms, really nice. So now we're gonna start almost cooking in a more traditional way. So I'll make a little gap in the middle of the pan, like this. We're going to go in with a little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. We'll go in with a little knob of butter. We'll go straight in with the garlic. And now we're going to go in with the chilli, and then the savoury fragrant notes of the thyme. Now we can start to toss, and this is much more kind of traditional mushroom cooking. Season nicely with salt and pepper. I'm going to serve these mushrooms with pasta, tagliatelle. So I'll just put that into some boiling salted water. This will only take like four or five minutes to cook. Now is the really interesting bit. We're going to take some of this starchy water from this pasta and I'm going to put it into here. And that water emulsifies with the fat and you get an emulsion. And that emulsion is the creaminess, a natural creaminess without using cream. Okay, that's what we want. So give it a shake. Look at that. Can you see? There's the creaminess. It's there. That's there. It's coming together now. That's the creaminess. And now we can turn the pan off and it's done. So, at this stage in the game, the pasta is done. I'll also take some more water to mix with the creamy mushrooms. And I'm just tossing that pasta in that creamy sauce. Look at the colour. What you can do, if you wish, is just add a little parmesan. So let's plate up. If you're a mushroom lover, it's such a nice expression of mushrooms. It really is. Little kiss of olive oil. And that is beautiful mushroom tagliatelle with thyme, a tiny bit of chilli and parmesan. Have we got the creaminess? That's the question. What's lovely is the pasta really does soak up that gorgeous natural sauce. Mmm. The mushrooms are so savoury and rich, really hearty. Those mushrooms, as they sat in the pan, untouched. So that could go on a steak. You could have it on polenta, on toast. You could put it in a quiche. You could put it on a pizza. The list goes on. That's a really fundamental, delicious, honest mushroom recipe. Great texture, and it gives you loads and loads of opportunities. So guys, get cooking, get the mushrooms out, and enjoy. Take care.